Karens and patients go together like milk and lactose intolerant people, and that's to say it becomes very messy afterwards. Welcome back to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things. Let's get into the clips. Here we have a plane who has only just landed in the airport that is their destination. We have a person that is way too impatient to get off the plane because their nicotine addiction is starting to get to them after seven hours of had a cigarette. So we can return to the gate. 10 minutes. 10 minutes was the difference between you possibly getting in a lot of trouble, potentially getting arrested, and you just moving on with your day. Legitimately, the plane's landed now. At absolute maximum, it's going to take 10, 15 minutes for you to get to a gate and plug in and start to get off. Like, it doesn't take that long beyond this point. The longest part of the journey is already over. Surely you can hold your patience for, like, not much more. And I get it, you know? It's been a seven-hour flight, you're probably frustrated, you probably have this issue, you probably have that issue. You just want to get off the damn plane and go see your kids, go light up a cigarette, get some nicotine in your brain and just stop it from going haywire. But you've probably caused yourself way more issues by doing exactly what you've done here than what would have happened if you just sat there and waited for another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes tops if it's extremely, if you're extremely unlucky. But you've already landed. The long, as I said before, the longest part of the journey is already done. Just pat, hold your patience for a bit more, and you would have been fine. But nope, here we are. You lost your patience. I, I, I hate to wonder what she was actually like on the flight, like, if she lost her patience right at the end of the flight, like, surely she would have done something stupid on the flight itself, or maybe something just clicked in her head for some reason right at the end, I don't know, it's all stupid to say the least, and I really feel bad for the staff member that had to deal with all her shite. Here we have a Kevin who thought it'd be the brightest idea to reverse off of a tow hook rather than pay the towing fee. Go and drive off! Go and drive off! It's on video. Back up, bro. Don't get close to me. 
This guy's got the IQ of a five-year-old attempting to get out of trouble with their parents. It's just like, oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, oh you, 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 you caused this. You've got to pay for the repairs and the damage of my car, even though I was the one who caused it by reversing off of a towing hook. Are you absolute brainlet. What the? What do you think was going to happen by doing that? Do you think they were just going to take off the hook and let you go on your dandy way without paying the fee? No, they're just going to let you cause more damage because it's only going to cause more more fees for you to deal with, man. Because you, you take this to your insurer, they'll contact the person who owns the tow truck, and then the tow trucker will just show them the footage of you reversing off that towing hook. And then suddenly the insurance are going to come back to you and go, ah, uh, hello, what the world was this? What was this stupidity? Did your brain not take five seconds to process the consequences of these actions before you actually made them? Oh well, seems like a you problem now. You made an adult choice and now you have to face the adult consequences of said choice. Good on you, buddy. Here we have a person extremely upset because their neighbor took an ex excavator across to their backyard via the public easement area. What you doing? What's that? You took my lawn up! Is that your lawn? That's my lawn! Okay. You took it up! Alright. What are you gonna do about it? Okay. You're not supposed to come across my lawn anymore! It's my property! Where's the property line? At the wall! It is? Okay. Yeah! Alright. You should know that! No, I don't know that. Then you should know. Well, you should talk to the builder. That's then nice. don't go back across! That's nice language. You know what? You're, a You're usually a nice guy, but that's my property, and you just ruined it. Let me tell you something. You stay off my property! Let me tell you something. Stay off my property! You better be careful what stay you say. Stay off my property! Okay. You're on it, by the way. You are out of control. You're out of my property! Look at you! You're on my property! Are you sure do you know where the property line is? I just had a survey. See the peg? See that right there? That's your steak? That that's steak. That steak's yours where? That one right there? There's an easement right here. Just because this is an easement, I could have come right through here. Just paid. We just paid this work done. Come on, this is a public easement, not yours. Listen, that's a drainage easement right yeah. there. Right there is our drainage easement. It's on the other side of that. Both oh, side of that. It's right there. Show me how to f him out. Yeah. He just went across my backyard. What's the, listen? What's the big work? We'll fix it. Do you really pay for this that I got? Do you think that I wouldn't fix something? We just had all this, all this. I could have came through here, the easement, but I it didn't. It isn't. This is a public easement. You're not a public person. I am a public. You're not person. a public person. <laughs> That's a public easement for the city. It is a drainage easement. Yeah. It's for the city, not you. It's for whoever does work, and we work for the city. Yeah. You don't work for the city. I yeah, want to do. see that. Let me see your contract, you liar. You work for him. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack there, buddy. Oh, yeah. you, over nothing. My, the property's on the other side. That easement stopped when I bought the house. <laughs> Rick, you're gonna fill up your ass. Because that should have It's gonna get better. <laughs> So I did some reading up on this one here, and from what I can tell, uh, anything to do with a public easement is very, very, very complicated. But I think the first thing to say is that, in theory, he was he is able to drive the excavator over the public easement to get into his backyard. Though I, I might be entirely wrong on that because I don't, I can't find any information restricting of what can be moved across a public easement because stuff like streets and alleyways are also can can be considered public easements depending on depending on where you are in like what state you're in things on those lines it's very complicated to say the least and then also furthermore on the guy says the public e the draining public easement on the back end of his yard was removed when he brought the house from what i could research up the only major ways to be out 
to actually remove any form of public easement is a variety of massive legal actions. The one that may have occurred in this example here is the thing called recorded. Basically, uh, if a good faith buyer buys the house without ever being informed of the public easement being there, technically speaking, you have the ability to get rid of the public easement at that point because you had no idea it was there prior to buying the house. But at the same time, if you did have, if you were informed of the easement being there prior to buying the house, then technically this won't work at all. So it's a very interesting thing to say the least, because that public easement may not have been removed. He may have known about it, and he's just saying it got removed to try and get these people in trouble. Either way, it's very <sighs> complicated to say the least. Here we got someone who's ordering a root beer float and has to be very weirdly specific about how they exactly want it done. Oh, so they put a whole bunch of ice cream and then they put soda in there. You get maybe three sucks out of it and you're stuck with ice cream and they give you a spoon for that. But I'm not two and a half. I'm, I don't want the ice cream. I want to be able to suck it all the way through. All the way through. Okay? All the way through so that I can have a drink. I don't want to have a straw. That's not... I want to a root beer float, which means root beer comes first before the float. So light ice cream, but I still want it in there. And usually, oh, let me just see this last thing. They'll give you a small courtesy club, courtesy cup, and then, um, which I know you're not gonna do, but that's what they do, and they're very greedy at the intersection. They, they charge you for everything. I only go to the one on Crenshaw, since all the other ones are bad. That was starting to become bad. But um, yeah, and they'll give you a side there and say, well, just pour that into it. Because they see it, and they see it for themselves. It's nothing but ice cream. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, so a small root beer float, gotcha. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I've had to deal with something like this before. Yeah, yeah, God, I do not miss these type of customers. I used to work in a butcher shop like f about three or four years ago, back before I moved to a different job, yada, yada, yada. Basically speaking, uh, you'd occasionally get these customers that are weirdly, overtly specific about how they exactly want stuff done. For example, you, used, you were able to grab one of the whole pieces of meat that usually is out in the front section of the store, take it up to the actual counter and have one of the butchers cut cut up the meat for you. And so basically there's a guide chart showing various different thickness and usually we roll on that. But sometimes you'd have that one customer that is overtly specific. They want half the thing to be cut, they want half it to be cut a very thin thing and then the other half cut very thickly. Then they want it to be slightly mixed together and then they want you to cut the big things in half and then do all these weird and random extrapolations of crap that just is very convoluted and you ultimately end up stuffing up and you have the customer complaining anyway because because what they were requesting is something really stupid and overtly complicated when they didn't really need to do that. They could have done most of the stuff themselves at home if they so wanted things desperately done their way. But yeah, people like this are interesting to say the least. Here we have a carrier who did an online order to their local subway and decided to, when they go in, to wait in the long line for other people who are waiting to make their orders done. Even though with the online order she just meant to go straight up to the register and they usually would have it ready. Anyway, when she gets up to the front she complains about how she hasn't gotten her food immediately and she had to wait through everyone else in spite of ordering online and well this happens. Sure, well, uh, what, what a bunch of bullies! 
You tried the full name. Yeah. Don't try getting the young kid into that. Oh, yeah. oh, He's on our side. What's your name? We'll call for him to. Yeah. For the both people working. You're, You're a bully. bully. I'm the one that's going to get You're this You're outnumbered. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm going to get this for free. Hey, hey, this is worth it to be such an embarrassment uh, in front of her. No, you're the like embarrassment. Yeah, come on. You're a disgusting human being. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Have a good evening, enjoy it. You gotta love how all the customers that are there are just like, ah, what in the world are you on about? Ah, this is, this, we've all just been waiting in line. You could have just gone up this way, like, it's just funny watching all the customers be on the same side as the worker and just like, just leave the worker alone. There's only two people at this subway currently, things are gonna be slow. But even then, the online order's been sitting there waiting for a hot minute now, which is hilarious. <laughs> Here we got a pair of Karen neighbors who are bickering like an old married couple. You're almost opened with that one. Hi, what do you need? I need you to take all of the photos off of me off the internet. You do not have permission to take. I don't need Or put on there. Actually, you do. You can put my name out there, but you can't put my image, and that's what the police department told you the last time we had this issue. I have not walked through your yard. The road, the walk has been closed off, Rana. I put that they're old pictures. No, no, you didn't. But didn't that's not what you said. No, I have what you said. It got okay. sent to me. That's okay. What, well, that's okay? Okay, so you can write what you want, but the videos of me, they need to come down. I'll check on that. Okay, by all means. I can get an officer here. Would you like that? Well, when the officer was here last time, mm -hmm. he said I did not have to take them down, but I did... Because he asked me to. Oh, that's why. No, it was because you can't put photos of me on the internet. You can say my name, but you can't put my photos there. Okay. I'll check. Okay, by all means. Please check. And why are you so concerned about it? What do you mean? Playing the victim. What are you talking about? I don't know. Obviously, you're out on the internet trying to slander me, Rana. What's that about? I'm not slandering you at all. Oh, right. So what you are wasn't because you put hypotheticals, this is speculation? Is that what it is? I don't know. No, so it's talk a bunch of shit about me on the internet, but hide behind your door. I don't That's know you what this is. Door. I have animals. I wish. I have animals out. too, and you really like to harass them. Did you tell your internet friends that? I do not harass your animals. Oh, okay. You're right. You don't walk past the fence and talk to my dogs. You're right. There isn't a boy who comes and knocks on windows in the middle of the night. You're right. Yes. That's not strange at all. How would that be my thing? I don't know. You have someone living here who obviously has frequent visitors at all times of the night. You tell me. My ring camera is going off. Windows. I've had to have a ring camera installed because you like to take photos of naked children because you're a pedophile. You're insane. I am not insane. Oh you're the God. one pointing cameras you in are. my bathroom. I don't have any. In my bathroom anymore. You don't have the camera pointed at my house anymore. It wasn't because pointed at your house. I have video proof. Okay. You have video proof? Right. I do too, Ron. That's the beauty of having cameras. I have them too. I know. Do you see me putting photos of you on the internet? Your? Am I putting Viewers photos on the internet of you, ma'am? At my house and in my yard. My I'm not in your yard. I'm street. on your easement. Into your you yard to talk to you easement. about why I'm on the internet. Why am I on the internet, Rana? I don't know. You don't want problems with me all the time, but yet you sure love you to put my information the on the internet. You problems with me. This morning, running out so you can flip me off. Why is that? You were morning? provoking my dogs and you were talking as you drove I got out me. here. No, you know what? I wasn't provoking your dogs. I leave my house every morning so between 4 30 and 5 so, so I. I can go to work. Me too. I am not promoting a pr provoking dogs. Really? Because my dogs don't bark. My dogs never bark at 5 o'clock in the morning unless um, you're talking to them. I'm not talking to them. Oh, okay. And that's on camera, by the way. I'm not Great. talking to them. I have camera too. It shows you, you walking in the fence line. Sure does. Every morning it shows me walking the fence line. No, talking this to your morning dogs. it does when my dogs were barking. You're wrong. Oh, so my I, eyes don't you know what? work? What I want you to do is post that video. No, that I don't need to. No, because you're lying. No, I have a you whole You lie all the too. time. I do, huh? You do. Right. So, right. you do. You don't... You right, like the pepper spraying of my children? I, I lied. I had pepper spray oh, your children. Even though you admitted to me, yeah, you're right. I didn't admit anything to oh, you. Oh, you I did when you tried to anything. apologize and you told me we were I never tried to action. apologize. I've never said that to you. I've never come over and tried to oh, apologize to you. You did. Time. It's amazing no, how I quickly didn't. you forget I me. told you that you would like me if you got to know me and you said because I tried to poison your kids that that would never happen. And Shockingly I did not try enough, to poison your that's kids. That's where most people draw the line. Okay.
And if I tried to poison your kids, I would have been arrested. You know, you don't think about the things that you say and you lie That's about. That's because you hid in the house and told them it was emu oil, lady. It was emu oil. No, and it was spraying it on the grass. Oh, no, you came over to my fence. house, apologized no, to I my didn't. husband. No. You apologized to my husband and said, let's <laughs> bury the hatchet. We have talked to your husband because he's a decent for? person that we can oh, talk to. Because he doesn't fly off the handle. You are not. Oh, you fly off the handle, you I scream at people. But I'm posting, I'm posting your house on the internet. Have I done that? I'm not posting your house on the internet. You just did. It's not your house. It is my house. There are house. four houses on the corner of Emmett and Cass. That's this all I mentioned. House. No, I have I the haven't... photos. Do you want to see the photos? Sure. All of the videos you have of me on the internet, I have all I, of those. In my yard. I'm going to give you guys a moment to process exactly what happened there because I'm going to be honest, I kind of need it too. And I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That was like a roller coaster of a clip. It is continuous ups and lows and ups and lows to the point where she calls someone a pedo to. to <laughs> like, wow, I just. that That's a lot, to be completely honest. And there's a few things here. I would. I'm not 100% sure who would even be considered to be in the right in the situation. If I'm completely honest, both these people sound like they're complete and utter assholes and nut jobs in their neighborhood. I wouldn't want to live near either of them because they both seem to be off their damn rocker. <laughs> so the whole idea of they've now both gotten cameras because X, Y, and Z from the other person and then one, the persons whose camera we're currently watching from apparently post these things online quite often whilst the other person doesn't like to do that. Secondly, it's apparently being pushed that she's made her cameras peer over the fence and look into the house of their neighbors, getting various different clips of various different variety, one to a certain degree of, uh, well, you watched the clip, I'm sure you can know exactly what I'm pointing out here. And it's wild, to say the least, just everything to do with this. Wow. <laughs> Depending on what state you live in though, this could potentially be some form of criminal action by posting the address of a person that you are dragging across the internet for either a justifiable reason for dragging them across the internet or just a complete and utter lie. It doesn't matter at that point because you're just still doing a bunch of crap that you probably shouldn't be doing. It, yeah, these people both sound like horrible people in this, like just overall. They both seem to be people I would not want to be associated with, to say the least. Oops. Here we have a fast food worker who may have potentially spat in the strings that they gave to a customer. This is Dunkin' Service. Really? Hey, hey, hey this is what white people do. They you just spit? Why the f*** was spit in a little baby drink? You can see it, because they thought it was mine. No, no, you sound ignorant as f***. Yeah, yeah. we poured all that f*** you. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. We'll see how long you keep your job. Hey, you hear me? I don't care, girl. I'm balling. You think I care about this job? I'm here for You ball. look like you're balling working at Dunkin' Donuts, I bro. I bet you do. Hey, you can re record this. I am. I got, I, it's all on here. Don't touch my car. Why don't you get back in the window, sir? Or what? What you gonna do? I'm gonna you call the up? cops anyway. Oh, call them. Yeah. I will! I let them know you spit in my drink and then this is the service that we get. We did not spit in your I didn't even make the I drink. took we a picture and a video of the drink. Okay. You you white, you just like the fuck with black. And you're racist. You you're racist. You're racist. Hey, I got I got so many employees in here. We didn't even spit on your drink. We got cameras. We didn't even Really? Spit on your drink. The, the cops you will look at them then. That's fine. I like to pick with black people. That's all you You're in. racist, no, not you're me. Racist. That, the, let me shut up. Exactly. Let you shut up. You know, this is the type of thing I'm thinking of what's going to happen with everyone who tends to abuse the fast food workers, especially the people who are handling your food. Do you Have you ever thought about that for just a few moments? I know a bunch of people who've watched the videos have definitely thought about it, but have you thought about the possibility that when you go off at the people who make your food, they may do something to potentially sabotage it just for the shites and giggles? Now, 9 times out of 10 will be something that will usually probably won't affect you in any way, shape, or form because, you know, everyone has the kind of understanding that if you get someone extremely sick or potentially harm someone by sabotaging their food, that's a lot of trouble for you, so you don't do that. You just do something little like spit in their drink or you put some hair in your in the food you're giving them. Something very minimal that usually you wouldn't get too much shit for because it's something that can technically happen on accident. I still wouldn't do it, but you know, Sophia. Here we have a Karen who is not exactly happy that the, f the retail worker was not quite willing to take the abuse sitting down. You don't talk my goddamn mind. You better be glad you're young. You better be glad 
Man, I gotta love the entitlement of some of these people when they just see a worker not doing what they want. They see the manager coming, it's like, fire him, fire their ass now, do it now, the customer's always right, blah, 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 blah. It's like, shut up. No one gives a damn about you. Clearly, you've caused a nuisance at some point or another, and of course, the manager's usually not gonna fire a worker without figuring out what actually happened beforehand and trying to hear their side of the story. Because nine out of nine times out of ten, it turns out customers like to lie or over embellish stories to try and make them look as good as possible and as much of a victim as they humanly can in a lot of cases. There are cases where they've been dead honest and the work genuinely did something wrong but I've seen way too many instances where a customer will make up a really crazy story or make things seem 10 times worse than what they actually are in order to try and get someone in trouble or to get something out of it don't know why they do it but they do and it happens a lot you can even see the manager's face at the end of this clip he's just bewildered and what just happened he's going like okay cool moving on <laughs> here we got a pair of racist old farts being well a pair of racist old farts it's harassing me, telling me to go back to my country because I just hit me. I didn't hit you. Hit you. You, you came here. in my you face. You're you coming. You're coming in my face. You're coming in my face. And you're harassing me, telling me to get the. You know, the problem is. Can you be quiet? The problem is you're harassing me because you didn't like what I dressed. I'm an American citizen. I am Muslim. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. Okay? I'm going to take this to court. Have a great day. Have a great day. This is the lady that was harassing me outside, telling me to get out of this country. No, and this is not my country. This is my country. This is my country. This is my country. You yeah, like it or not? You're racist. You're racist. Yes, I am a racist. You are the racist. I'm a racist. You need to yes, get out. I am. You gave, yes, I am. You are racist. And yes, I have I you recorded. And I'm white and I'm proud yes. that I'm white. And, and I'm I don't too, wear a baby. diaper and over I my head. I'm white too, baby. You see it? I'm white. Even if I'm black, I love it. Okay? I love being black. I love being black. I love black. That's what God created, black, all leg, colors. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's none of your business what I do. No, you okay? Told, it's not, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm calling the cops for you. You're racist. If you're racist, you see all these colors? Look at all these people. Look at all these tables. Look at all these tables with I wasn't smacking you. I wasn't smacking you. You came up to me. You came up to me. She's racist. You see all color people? No, I shut up. Don't talk to my mother like okay? that. Okay? You're racist. I have I you recorded. Am. You are being recorded. I don't care. You're going to be recorded. What? She's racist. She Can followed just, me here. Can you take it outside, please? You're she racist. Came up to me. No, no, she no. didn't. You, you were outside. I was over there and you came up with her. with your mother outside please, in the please. car. Please. Yes, she came up Can to me and jumped. Calm down for just a moment. Let's go. Just for a moment, please. She harassed my mother in the she, car. She my mother was double car. parked. She, she told me, I don't like you dressed like came. that. You're not in this country. Get the hell out of this country. Well, okay? I apologize for that, but I wasn't out there, so. Sir, okay. you didn't see what I see. She jumped me. Mom, the window was down. Right she now. came up I'm, to my window. Okay. Mom, let's go pay for this. You got it on. You, you got it. Man, old people are always extremely disappointing or are really awesome. It's always one of the two. There's no middle ground of old people who are pretty cool but also have some weird tastes or some weird opinions. No, it's usually the old farts who have not grown up and matured and have learned to understand 
understand that the world has changed, those are the people that are stuck with their old world views and still attempt to push it onto other people, even though it's very clear that other people don't care about their world view anymore. People have moved on, people have changed, we're not bigoted racist human beings anymore, but they still want to be and it's not cool. If you're going to do that, especially in public, uh, you're going to have crap like this happen. Yeah, maybe I don't quite agree with the the people behind the camera going into the store to go and annoy the person afterwards. Actually, it's probably they were in the store and they just encountered this person and they decided to start annoying them about it. I don't know if I 100% agree with that, but I can also understand why. And it's like one of those things, if these are your opinions and you are not willing to listen it out or change your opinions, maybe, just maybe, it's better to keep it to yourself and not be an asshole to other people. It's not that hard. You could just say nothing and move on with your day. Oh, you don't like the look of someone because they're not a race you like? Well, then just shut up and move on. <laughs> it saves everyone else a whole world of trouble and probably saves you the annoyance of people who are not quite appreciative of your race's nature. So, uh, buzz off. Here we got a guy who's parked in in the middle of the parking lot, not in an actual car park, and is pretty much in the way of a bunch of handicapped spots, and when he gets confronted about that and asked to move by someone who works there, he, uh, has a bit of a tissy fit. So, you're illegally parked. Um, I've got a complaint already about the vehicle you're being blocked. Complaint. You're the complaint. If you're you are going complaint. to remain parked here, I will have you're to call a call. tow truck. So what time do you plan? Before you're done with it, you can stop, but you're going to jail for what you're doing up front. Oh. You got the corporate charge okay. being called, but you're being investigated too. Okay. That's something you don't know, Sounds big good. gal. I'm a big boy, but I'm happy. Okay. I can give anybody that ever walk, a stranger walks up. Are you going to move your road. vehicle for my guests? Are you going to move my vehicle for the guests? You're going to move the vehicle for the guests? Have a great day. Oh, Safe travels. Don't get in the wreck on the way there with all your anger you got. Have a good day. Safe travels. Of course, it had to be one of those entitled assholes in their big fuck off trucks. I've had a rant about this in the past. I understand the people who own a vehicle of this caliber that actually need a vehicle of this caliber, but the reality is most people who own one of these vehicles own it just because they can. Like, most of them will only ever make use of the things that this car is able to do or once in a blue moon. And even then, like, these vehicles have been continuously made to be more big, more stupid and over the top than what they used to be. Like, they don't need to be the absolute size they are to be able to do the towing that a lot of them are used for. Uh, anyway, we're not going on that pathway today. Because <sighs> you've got the people who own vehicles like this who are like this. Because it's either the people who make use of these vehicles, the middle ground of the people who are just brought into the hype of the car manufacturers selling them these overpriced pieces of garbage, and then you've got the assholes who get a big vehicle because they feel like it's uh, showing off, whether it because it makes them think they have a big dick or something along those lines, or whatever the hell it is for, whatever stupid thing they try to push here, they're of course going to be absolute in assholes. You know, they can't find a car park, rather than, you know, getting a double car park or just parking in a further away and taking multiple car parks so it's not too annoying, they park as close as they want to, and they park in the middle of the street. They're not parking in an actual car park spot and make everyone else's life harder because, you know, they're entitled to park wherever the hell they want because they got the giant golf truck. <laughs> I still ranted a bit somewhat about a trough, didn't I? Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's for another day. Here we have a Karen who doesn't quite care about her, get, get, keeping their dog on a leash and is letting the dog run around the park for free. It, meanwhile, there's another dog in the vicinity who's owned by an owner who's keeping them on a leash is recording this entire incident because they know that their dog is not exactly the friendliest of friendly dogs. What I'm recording right now, Here. this lady has her dog off leash. I'm Keep recording it. for our own no. legal liability. If this dog comes this way, it's her fault. Our dog, you can see, is on a leash right now. Her dog no. is not. If this dog comes over here, our dog will attack. G baby, down. Ele. No, Ele. Bailey. 
dog still not on a leash. On a leash. She don't have the leash in her hand. So it's pointless. Down. And now Coke, our other dog is in the car. She's it's about to trigger him. Huh? I do. He's only been in there for two minutes. I'm about to take her back. We just got done. I'm trying to wait for you, a dog. She's, she's not, not friendly. friendly. She's not friendly. She's not friendly. <laughs> hey, get your dog. 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 Quiet. Not quiet. Quiet. I'm just waiting on you. Why are you worried about our dog? Get your dog. Put your dog on a leash. Worry about your own dog. Put him on a leash. Put him on a leash before it becomes grounded food. Worry about the wrong lady. Get your dog before it gets ate. I've been recording this this whole time, so just go. Just go. Who the lets their unleashed dog approach another dog? Just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. I have all this on video for the last 10 minutes. I've actually got a very interesting story for this one, to be completely honest. So a little while back when we were walking, uh, my dog that lives in the house that we're living in, we were walking in it down the street and there there's, tends to be like another couple who walks their two dogs every now and then, probably like every other day at random different times and they don't tend to ever have a leash on those dogs. Those dogs seem to be very good and calm and things on those lines at least when it comes to dealing with other dogs on the other side of a fence they just walk by and they don't give a damn but what happened today was we were walking we we're walking around with a dog our dog on a leash and we we're walking around and we ended up coming across these people here their two dogs quickly ran up and started to like sniff around and do random things to our dog and almost started to bite to the point where my mother stepped over our dog to try and cover the dog and hope that the owners of the actual pair of dogs would get here and actually get them before things got potentially worse. It's never fun. Unless you're in a dog park where it's all fenced off and you can have no leash on and usually people won't go into there unless they know their dog's very friendly with other dogs, you just never take your dog off your leash when you're roaming around in any form of public areas. A, you don't know how people are going to react to dogs because there are some people that have got an abstract fear of dogs and may panic a little bit and then the dog may sense that as something else that could potentially lead to another problem there. They may encounter a dog that isn't exactly the friendliest of nature or not good with handling other dogs and ends up in a bit of a fight there that may lead to another dog getting mauled and various things along those lines. It's a, it's a very simple thing. Just keep your dog on a leash unless you're in a form of dog park where that's kind of okay to not do because if you're in a public area you don't know who you're going to come across you don't know if your dog's going to come across someone who's got a fear of them who may have an adverse reaction that causes the dog to do something bad you never know what's going to happen you just don't take that risk it's a really dumb risk to take here we have a Karen who made an order at a fast food restaurant then disappeared into the bathroom for around tw over 20 minutes or so, doing god knows what, but probably getting as high as a kite. Anyway, their food was served at some point not long after they went into the bathroom, and after a while the workers got rid of it because, you know, it sat there for quite a while, not being claimed. It most likely started to go cold and they decided just to get rid of it then. Anyway, the Karen comes out of the bathroom, sees that their food's not here, and they start going off, and this is what happens.
I did. They heard you yelling. They heard you yelling. They said they're selling somebody you heard immediately. That one too, you pedo. I'm sorry that you went and smoked meth in the bathroom for 20 minutes. Leave our store. Never come back. You're on camera. We're going to be giving it to the police. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're... Is that you didn't serve me? I did. No, you didn't. I served you the first time. You're good. Goodbye, ma'am. Have a good day. You know, if you're going to burn 20 minutes in a fast food restaurant bathroom, maybe I'll uh, do that prior towards ordering food. Like you go in there, do whatever you need to do in there, then come out and then order your food so that when it comes out pretty quickly, uh, you can just grab it because, you know, it's a fast food restaurant for a reason. Nine times out of ten, uh, they're going to try and get your food out to you as quickly as they can, which usually only happens a few minutes after you order unless it's extremely busy. And of course, if your order sits there for long enough, they're just going to take it back and get rid of it because, you know, no one's claimed it. The person who made that order has disappeared and has not gotten it in the past 10, 15 minutes it's been sitting there for. So logically, they kind of get rid of it. What else you expect is going to happen? And then starting to get angry and throw crap at them because they did that is just the dumbest choice to make ever because, you know, it's only going to cause more issues for you down the line, especially considering they recorded it and they're going to report it to the police and whoopsie daisy, now you've probably got yourself some form of Fine. Oh, good on you. In this first clip, we've got a Karen who's extremely upset with these kids who are playing on the street in their neighborhood to the point where they're threatening to speed down this road the next time they come through in order to make sure to hit them. What? We have a problem with you. We have a problem when I can't drive home from work every goddamn day because your kids are in the fucking road. They're playing. not in the road. They're playing? Every day. They're, they're, they're on their bikes. They're cold down and they're over here. No, they're not. The you're out of your mind. They're on this side of the street just to slow you down. Good. Take a picture. We'll have the police department here so we can give you a ticket. Call the police. We have. You literally just said you're going to go 45 on our street tomorrow. Did your kids never play on bikes in the street? I never put cones out in the road and try to redirect traffic like I own the goddamn place. Stop going down when our street. When you're going there. 45, 50 miles an hour, you don't live here. And leave them calls out and see what happens. You don't live here. <laughs> oh my god. And this is why a lot of the kids these days aren't really that active because you can't really go and play games on the street with the rest of the neighborhood because you got idiots such as these who are going to go speeding and flying down these streets and potentially hit someone because, you know, when you're going that fast, you have very minimal time to react and usually it's probably not going to be enough time for your parents to yell, at, Hey, look out, Karen coming to get you off the road. Ah. I don't agree with the cones being there, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your kids protected and also allow them to actually do something. Bad crime. What are you I talking can... about? You better straighten up. What am I doing? I'm just sitting here on my phone. Why are you bothering me? Excuse me? What did you say? I'm just sitting here on my phone. No. I didn't say a word to you. You, you didn't have to. You're she just came over to me out of nowhere and said I'm an idiot for being on my phone. <laughs> I have it all on video. I, she, she literally came over to me. I was watching a YouTube video and she said, what are you doing on your phone? You're going to go to jail. Why am I going to go to jail? I didn't even speak to you. I was listening to my headphones. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Yeah, that that was just so strange. <laughs> It just seems like a lot of people just have no idea how to mind their own business. I mean, if you're just sitting there on your phone at a restaurant, just on your own, eating some food, watching a video, why, why, what's the point going up to that person and annoying them, call, just, just just being annoying? Regardless of what you end up saying, it's just so stupid. What a waste of your time and effort, but this old lady chose to do it in the Anyway, okay. <laughs> Well, can you go up and then... Noah, did you just say motherfucker? No. What did you just say? I wasn't talking to you. 
You just said this motherfucker. I wasn't talking to you, was I? No. You I just wasn't. said. I wasn't talking to you. She just cussed, sir, and I have it on tape. I don't care. She just said this motherfucker. And I wasn't talking to him. She just said that. And I wasn't talking she, to him. It doesn't matter. You cussed in front of me. It's inappropriate, and I'm a Christian. It doesn't matter, sweetheart. And but why you beat it to me? You, not can, you, you not just can said motherfucker. You know, I can see. In Georgia, you don't need it. Raphael? Can we just, like, not annoy the shit out of retail workers or fast food re re workers? I understand that she just effectively referred to you as a motherfucker behind your back, and I understand why that's not fun. But just being annoying like that is- it's just why? What's the point in that? Just move on with your day. You don't need to be a shithead about it. Like, it's- it's, uh... <laughs> hey, man, this kid's there. You don't have to swear, eh? Hey? Mind your own business, you're interfering with sanctimonious shit. What? No, I don't want my dog attacked. You don't like it? Piss off. Would you like this to go off on YouTube? Do what you want. Now get the cops on you. For what? You're swearing at kids. Yeah. What's wrong I with that? I was talking to a cat. Yeah, and then when the parents... Now you're invading my privacy now. Piss off. And then when the... Yeah, parents... right, do you want to give me your name and number? Yeah, sure. Right, now phone the cops. Sure. Now piss off. Don't spit on me. You're in the sun. God, who? God, how old are you? Seven. Right, then act your age. All right, go away before You're I actually... You're one. Emma, sh shut up. All right. Head. I'm going to call the police if you continue uh, speaking like that, all right? Look, you're following me. Go away. No, I'm actually, I'm actually walking down this I way. Just another ordinary day in Australia, except for I don't think this is in Australia going off of the sign at the beginning, because I that's very unfamiliar of a sign to me, but the voices sound very like that. I don't know, both people in the situation are a bit assholes. I, I get the grandmother, sh the old lady probably shouldn't be swearing around kids, it's just... You just, you just shouldn't do that, man. It's just one of those things. But also, this kid recording, or whatever the person is, is being a bit of a fucking shithead about it, though, so... Either or either. Astros, you lost in the World Series, and now what happened? You I'm, the I'm, old. I'm, I'm the biggest, this is Josh's stick, I'm the biggest Astros fan in the world for six months. You lose in the ratings when the Astros win the World Series, what's now? Your Gulf Coast Regional Radio. The Josh in his, the Josh in his network. How do you know that? You don't listen. When did I say I don't listen? That's your shtick. That's your shtick. You say you don't listen. I've never said I don't listen. You clown. You're lying again. What am I lying You lie about that? Me calling my lawyers? I never said you. I said you. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. Hey, oh, Seth and Mike and I. Oh, they're my great friends. Don't tell them why they suck. Who am I supposed to know who calls a lawyer? Well, then why would you say it? Why would you say I call my lawyer? This is the other big thing about you. This is the other big thing about Josh. This is what Josh does. Um, I'm going to pull a stunt. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right break here. Texans media rules where I know I'm gonna lose my credentials, and then I'm gonna claim that I'm surprised that I have my credentials pulled. You lie to your audience and then claim you have your credentials pulled because you're the most honest guy in history. You're a fraud. You know, I thought it was an argument over something to do with sports at first, but then it became more and more clear that both of these people either run podcasts or shows of some sorts and decide to have an in-person confrontation over something. I mean, there's probably people who are watching this who probably have more context or more knowledge about what's actually happening here. I don't exactly consider this to be a Karen thing because... Well, I, I don't. I just feel like it's just an argument between two people who are currently disagreeing. I don't know why this ended up in the Karen bin, but here we are. <laughs> Please do not threaten me with a firearm. You know what? Please do not threaten I me with a firearm. I do not have a firearm. Are you coming at me? You know what? Get now you just touched road. my car. I now did. you just touched you my property. My fingerprints? Yeah, I am. I'm going right to the police station. You just touched my property. Let's go. That's criminal trespassing. No, and you're on video. This is and you threatened me with the gun. I'm going to the parade at the police station right now. Let's go. Let's go. I ain't gonna lie, I had some serious whiplash watching that clip. Uh, <laughs> it seems like we're on someone's driveway here. I'm assuming it's the person who drives the Supra. I'm assuming that's a Supra. It looked like the rear end of a Supra. <laughs> Threatening of a gun, good god. I really want to know what happened before the guy started recording. Jesus. Give me a chicken sandwich. Show me some complications. Uh, 
You know, this is one of those type of people that are just fun because it's not like they're being abusive. They're just very, very loud. <laughs> they're just talking at the top of their lungs. They're not hurling any form of abuse. Like, th there was no abuse here. This was just someone talking loudly for some reason. And everyone in the background in the actual restaurant were just having a bit of fun with it. They were laughing along. They didn't care so much. It's just one of those nicer ones. <laughs> I don't have a name, you don't get mail. I tore it and I put it back in there, did I not? No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. That's no, why you found didn't. it ripped. How do you know it's ripped then? Exactly. No. Use your head and you can't threaten people's mail. That's our week. What do you mean? You're not you you have a little bit of authority you, you, and you're threatening to stop people delivering his mail. Is that really I, is that really how you use yes. really? Yes. yes. Okay, that's for, that's what that is. Let use me little, fucking talk! There you go. Yeah, has a warranted reaction to someone who doesn't stop running their mouth. <laughs> just like, they just kept saying things, kept asking questions, but never giving the other guy a chance to give any answers. He just kept pummeling in. Like, bro, if you're trying to approach something in an argument, you gotta at least give the other party a chance to talk back instead of just continuously running your mouth. <laughs> This person isn't a Karen. Don't know why this one got sent to me, but it, they're not a Karen. I mean, I understand it's a bit of an annoyance to just have this person stay in the middle of the road to force you out of the bus lane. But again, why are you driving down the bus only lane in your car? I get it. You want to overtake the slow traffic. But at the same time, you're literally just going to cause more problems when the traffic has to merge later or the bus is in the way. Like, I, I don't get it. Why are you driving in the bus lane? What? Bro. <laughs> you got this one in Maine and then you got this one from Connecticut and neither one of them will back up hey. this is how stubborn people are let me tell you something they are both acting like complete assholes and not letting people out almost caused an accident a while ago you have a kid in the car but you're both doing it why don't you back up be the bigger person why she she's gonna be ignorant so why do you gotta be ignorant too just back up man I'm gonna back up let her be ignorant you know what she just did you know I know, I, I hear you, but you, you know guys are keeping did? people from backing out, though, man. Come on. I could have let her get a lot of. She don't know who she's talking to, and she's in the middle of the road. But you both look ridiculous right now. You understand that, right? You could have easily My, backed you, you off. Haven't you, looked, off. Looked, you haven't looked you one minute. Off. People of Walmart. This is people of Walmart happening right here in front of me. That's a stupid ass thing right here. Did anyone else notice that little detail that hints at the true person who caused a lot of issues in the world? Ah uh, yes, the lady, we see on her car, the first time we see the car, that there's a mirror panel missing. The entire section where there would usually be a side mirror is just completely gone. I wonder why is that? Maybe she's done shit like this before and has actually hit someone else's car. I wonder. I know you don't care. Look, 
Well then, let the train go. Let us go. That's all. Let us go. Let us go, sir. Sir, don't do this to me. Where's the fucking bullet? Let us go. You didn't. You asked me. Here we've got a pair of kids who are doing spot of fishing into this lake that is apparently within some private property. They didn't know that, that the lake's meant to be private property, yada yada yada. Anyway, some of the people who are living there decide to cause a confrontation, call the cops, and do a bunch of other crazy things. Here's a clip. Just sit down and wait for the police. He kept approaching us. We were just walking away. Hey, I don't want to hear it. Just sit down and wait for the police. You alright? Perfectly fine. Good. Are you with them? No, no. no. Okay. We were just trying to explain it because he was telling them to record us. This dude got all aggressive because we were fishing the lake over here, approached me. I told him to scoop back. He wouldn't. I got it on video. He turned off the camera and then he ran at me. So I socked his ass. He hit me too. And he hit me back too. up. No, back up. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Back off. I'm about to spin. No, I was just so socked the out of you, honey. I am there. so done with you. Hey, 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 hey. Not don't. don't do it. Don't do it. Because then you'll be at fault. Yeah, I know. So He's just going stay to jail. over there. He's going to jail. Uh, okay, just stay He's over there. Jail. Just stay over there, okay? You want to tell your dad a slide? I did. Oh, I was about to say, we're going to have to dip. just sit down here. Yeah. I'd rather stand, but I'll be right here. Good. See, we got a lot of people that are on your And they, yeah, but apparently after you left, they had an incident with this guy and they hit him. Can I explain to you guys what happened real quick? Okay. You can explain, but you still yeah. need to sit down right, no, over there I'm gonna and wait for the police. Keeps, we'll stay right I'm there. A, ah. Understand. Good. Good. Oh, okay. Good. Right. So we're gonna take a picture of that. Take a picture of that. And she came out and she was like, she was just saying stuff like, pick up your stuff, yada yada, like. Trying to be a can. I was like, I know how to fish, First man. First of all, Thank guys, you. I gotta tell you something. You can't be fishing over there. That's private property. It's, oh, we didn't know that. We seen yeah, that Google Maps. This is all private property. You gotta go and have a permit to fish off the. Of off the air. I think it says a lot about the old guy there that he continues to attempt to approach the kids over and over again despite being clearly told by this other person to stop doing that to just leave them alone and move on and stay away until the cops get here but it, it, sh it says a lot that he just keeps doing it over and over again whilst the kids continue to stay in the same area aside from when they're trying to walk away from the old guy who's continuously coming up to them it, it just seems to be like one of those cases i hope that they made the person i'm assuming that was a security guard or something made it clear to the police what exactly was happening whilst he was here watching that the old guy kept attempting to approach the kids despite being told to leave them alone on multiple occasions because to me that just throws a couple of red flags like yeah you might assume that the kids are clearly in the wrong in the situation but from not knowing what actually happened but then watching this old guy continuously attempt to approach the kids in very uh, hostile forms and ways to try and get the kids to do some form of reaction. It clearly states that what the kids are saying might have a very high level of truth to it that the guy decided to approach them in a very aggressive way, which led to the kids hitting him. It, yeah, I, I wouldn't be too surprised, to be honest. Here we have a Karen who hops out of her car in order to attempt to start some form of verbal fight or actual fight, who goddamn knows, but forgot to put their handbrake on. That is instantaneous karma if I've ever seen one. The moment she gets out and makes the decision to do whatever in the world she was going to do, the car's immediately rolling away and she's had to go, oh damn it, I have to go run after it, doesn't, fails to get it in any way, shape or form, it runs onto the road, oh my god, I just hope no one actually got hurt in this incident, that there's no one who actually ran into the car, the car didn't hit anyone or hurt anyone. It, it's just like a funny piece of karma if that didn't happen, if someone did get hurt then it's just not not fun, you know? Here we go to Karen who decided to park their car right behind someone else's when they asked me, they said, nah, you can stay here. Yeah. 
What it is, you wasn't me. expecting my response. That's what it was. Right now, you don't you block me in. Me. Right no, now, you, you no, you been. Me. Right girl. now, you are threatening me. Y'all see this? Right now, I'm threatening I you. I cannot. I cannot give I you can, an answer. I no, you know why you can't give me an answer? Because it speaks it right here. You're blocking me in, and you don't even know me. Right. Over I parking? No, you, no you immediately told me that you were calling the police and where did I come from? How dare you? When you came In 2020, down? mother too. You still doing this, Karen? You should have asked me my you name. You need to back right. off. No, you you're, need to honey, back you're out keeping of my me face. hostage right now by not. blocking my car in. I am you not. won't allow me to leave. Here's my car, you everybody. Oh, now I got room to get out, but you just told me that I couldn't go. I will, you can't I hold me nowhere. I did not say that. What? You don't I, when no, they listen. replay this video, they'll see it because, baby, you don't know me. I go viral, and you're going to go viral. You go viral, but you have not Karen, given. no, you don't. This is my phone. How dare you, Karen? You How not, dare you, Karen? You need to back off. No, you need to let me you're go. You need to let, move out my spot. You, you need to let me back, back up. Right. So then why are you Let's, blocking me I, in? Because I need the police to come now. And you're afraid for your life because I am. Uh, yeah, I'm very good. afraid. Good. Because you are trapping me in I and I am very afraid for you're, you're not eight. You gonna move your ass out the way. Well, I got your I don't care, then take it. Yep. It, it, illegally taping my uh my my number. And if you go near my car, I swear to God. Just want the bin. Oh, you wanna ah! you just grab me? Ah! Lady, you're going to jail. No, you are. What in the world happened at the end there? Like, genuinely, did they... Uh the camera doesn't really catch much of it at all. From what I can tell, after we a few moments after the initial kerfuffle started at the back end there, it looks like the person who was behind the camera is holding the person and then lets go of them. And the moment that they get let go, they go from screaming their lungs out to just like, you're going to jail now, and the calmest voice they had beforehand as well. Like, it just sounds like nothing actually happened, and they just made up a whole bunch of crap to try and, like, it, it, that scream was just complete and utter nonsense to attempt to get someone hurt. I, I don't know. It, it's so wild to me just watching something on the, along those lines, especially with the ending that was. Like, did the person behind the camera just try and stop them from touching their car or pulled them away from the car and then their phone was knocked out of their hands and the person started screaming because they were being touched by someone after they attempted to do something with their property? I don't know. That... I don't think there's a very clear answer to that one. I, maybe you guys might have an idea what happened here post this because there may be a news article on this or not. Who knows? But also, genuine question, why... Like, it looks like, the, I don't know why the other person who's recording this was in that spot in the first place because it looks like that's a driveway into something and that says no parking. And then the other person has just chosen to park right behind them for some dumb reason i wouldn't understand why maybe he they thought that the person who was there was some suspicious person but then that could be potentially some form of racing i don't know there's a lot of layers to this that just leads me to think like what is the bigger picture to this what happened prior to this recording mess here we have a Karen who does not successfully get what she wants, so you know what she does? She takes it up a level and starts screaming and yelling at everybody in the retail store. You don't need this either. I need it. You're gonna, not going to send it. It's I'm not, it. and you're going to take this elsewhere. You're not going to have my stamp on it. Okay. You're going to take all this elsewhere. And I, I want you to call the police, because I'm going to sit here and yell till you call the police. You've got their f***ing idiots. And you won't you get your money back. Of and you are a f***ing piece of shit. I know. Tell me. I know. Yeah. I record know. it. Record I it. You I know. know. What's her name? I'm calling this. I have the number of the supervisor here. What's this name? It's your name. Whatever your name is, that's that name. Yours. I'm calling the okay, supervisor. I have the direct line. Okay. Call her. 310-268-0624. 310-464-9154. Just call the police. You no. call the police. You no. Call the police. No. Call the police. No. Call the police. I'm not leaving. No. I'm not leaving. No. Okay, you can do what you want. Why wouldn't she tell me do where to put it? it? I asked her very nicely to tell broom? me. You want a broom? I want you to tell you me why she wouldn't that? tell me where to put the the receipt. You gonna receipt. give yourself a heart attack yelling like that? Why wouldn't she tell me? 
Okay, I'm not leaving. You're gonna help somebody else. I'm gonna stand right here until you get the police here. Hell, I get paid. All you have to do is get a supervisor out here. All you have to do is get the damn and all supervisor. all you have to do is leave. Are you a supervisor? All you have to do is leave. I'm not leaving. She ain't took her meds today. That's the thing. I'm not leaving until I get to talk to a supervisor. Are you a supervisor? She ain't took her meds today. supervisor. Okay. I was very nice. I went up to the window and I said no, I didn't know wasn't. where to put the... She wouldn't tell me where to put the, 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 the sheets. She wanted me to do it myself and I didn't know where to put it. Why would she act like that? No, no not why would she start yelling at her? Why would why she start would she yelling at her? Where to put the return oh, oh ma'am. On the envelope, why would she tell me? Let's not forget you caught her all kind of Let's why go would, there. I didn't, she was not, um, I was you nice. it. It's on video. Yes, because these workers are going to be so willing to help you after all the abuse that you threw at them after you didn't get exactly what you want perfectly to the measure. You slapping stuff on the table, trying to demand what you want, get what you want right now and call the cops if you're not going to give it to her. Like, what do you think is going to happen? They're just going to ignore you for the most part. Eventually, probably do get on the phone and get the police attention to come and just take you away because clearly you have lost your mind to a certain degree and should probably uh, get some help because, you know, it might be needed. Who knows? Here we have the neighborhood Kevin who finally snaps after hearing a dog bark for the final time. And you, with that dog. I hear that dog again, I'm gonna crack his skull open. Both of you. You understand me? Both of you. You, you with that dog and him, okay? You better not come over here. You better not come over here. I'm gonna crack his skull open with an axe handle, okay? Kay. You and this guy are gonna stop, okay? I've had enough. I've been going through this since last September, lady. I don't know who the hell you are. Go in there and get your husband, your father, and whoever he is. Bring him out here. Bring him out here. Where? Is he a man? Tell him to come out here. I'm a little guy, man. I'm 5'6". Tell him to come out here. Tell him to come out here. What do you, what, what do you, what are you not in your head at? I'm serious, girl. Sure. I'm telling you, I'm serious. Because, because this woman is the same damn thing with this, with this dog. This is going to stop. I'm going to stand out here and terrorize this whole neighborhood until it stops. I'm going to terrorize the entire neighborhood until this one dog stops barking. Well, uh, good luck with that plan. You're totally not going to get yourself in a bunch of trouble by annoying other neighbors and just being hailed as some form of nuisance inside of the street. Good on you, buddy. You sound like you've got your head screwed on very well and it's not loose whatsoever. You don't have any screws loose. That's just a lie. You're totally not insane threatening to smash a dog's head open with the butt of an axe. <laughs> what? What the f- Genuinely speaking, who thinks it's a great idea to do? Uh, everyone in the comments, raise your hand if you think it's- if you agree with this guy here, because if you do, then, uh, walk yourself out. You know what you need to do. It- it's- no. <laughs> I- I just question how people get to this point of mind where it's like, Oh my god, dog barked. Let me make massive threats about killing the dog. Like, that's gonna help any problem whatsoever. You know, dogs are gonna bark. Yeah, it's annoying, and usually the owner should be able to hold a little more control in the amount of times the dog bark, especially if there's like, based upon a neighbor walking around in their backyard. But when it comes around to like, let's say a dog's walking by the house, yeah, a dog's gonna bark at a dog because, you know, they smell another dog that they're not familiar with. No, duh. I don't know, this guy just seems to be a bit of an idiot. Here we got casually racist neighbors having a fight with their neighbor. My daughter told him not to come over here. Hey! My daughter told him not to come over here. Period. We're not trying to start crap. We're neighbors. Come on. Crap happened. Just leave him alone. Maybe take care of your child. This is between us. Because you're the homeowner, right? Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, it's Go back to Mexico. Bye. Hey, next time I hope he gets him in the neck. <laughs> 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 
Come on to my property. Come on. That's my thought. Pussies. Yeah. Why don't you guys just go inside? I love people like that who are just come out with some form of threat. They either come out with their gun, come out with an aggressive animal, or one of various different things and tell someone to come over to their yard right now. And then when the person doesn't, they say, ah, that's right, you're a pussy. You're too scared to do that. Ha 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 ha. It's like... You totally didn't just bring out a weapon of some form or didn't bring out a dog that is clearly going to be s sent to bite us. You're totally not just going to be nice and not cause your cause a f scuffle if they do step on your yard. No, no, you're just going to immediately let go of the dog and let the dog haul maul the guy. Like, that's legitimately what this guy would have done. And I don't get what the point is. It's like, ha, see, you won't. Gotcha there. You're too scared. It's like, no shit, no one's going to do that because you just, it's like, do you not put two and two together? You come out with a gun or you come out with a dog and threaten to have the dog sick on you? It's like, what the fuck's that? What do you think's gonna happen? They're gonna actually go on your lawn after you're being like that? No, you idiot. So here we have a guy at McDonald's who has his order gets done slightly wrong and decides to cause a whole kerfuffle that goes on for ultimately forever over it. Here's the clip. <laughs> No, she right here, right there, right in the head. I seen you. You said you turned around and said, what the f***? Quick, Jose. No, am I right? Right or wrong? No, and then she's screaming in here, am I right or wrong? Did you say that? Okay, okay, no. You looked at me and said, what the f***? Right? It wasn't towards me? Be real. Just be real. I pay you for your time to be real. I know I'm not wrong. So who was it towards you? Nobody was at the drive through. He done gave that to me. He was looking at her. And as soon as... Now, 
about to go viral. I got 150k followers on my IG. Now this is about to go viral. Okay. I'm sorry, bro. It's about to go down. It's okay. What's your name now? It's okay. I know. I respect you. What's your name? My name is Blazer. Now, all your employees want to run to the back as soon as I no, pull out my money. No, Am no, I right or wrong? You're wrong. My employees are minors, and I tell you no. to the back. Why? Get out why? Of why? Because, because I, I said I'm going to get you. No. no. But why? I want to have to disrespect your manager on the edge. I don't give a f. He okay. disrespect me. Okay. okay. I don't give a f. Where's the police? Okay. They disrespect me. I'm not. I'm sorry, school. I'm sorry to take it from you. I'm sorry. Please do not apologize. I don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah, anyone that been nice to me, give it to me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to talk to you. 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 I'm going to
he's using them fighting words because we can all clearly see that he's a bit stuttery, he's probably a bit nervous as to actually turn into an actual fight, or maybe he just can't speak at all and that's why he's all reliant on the fighting part of the entire thing. Either way, crazy people do crazy things and that's just what it is here and completely stupid. In this first clip, we've got a Karen who didn't have a happy shop and therefore just shoved all of her shopping right towards the people at the registers over the counter, making it absolute mess and causing a massive scene. You know, I think this would be like 10 times funnier if it so happened that the Karen had already paid for all of this before she just shoved it all over the counter. Like, yeah, it sucks to clean all that up, but at the same time, she already paid for it, so who actually loses here? In this next clip, we seem to have a Karen who's extremely unhappy with the food they order and therefore are requesting their money back, in probably by far the worst way possible. This clip leaves me with uh, several questions, mainly because I just wonder, why is she wanting her money in the back, back in the first place? Was there something wrong with her food? Was there maybe some hair or the she got the wrong order? Like she asked for, let's say, something to be taken out of a burger and that tomato or that onion or whatever it is was actually put into the burger or the order was done slightly wrong. Whatever the reason is, I'm honestly curious on why the people at the registers just didn't give the money back or give another option sooner. I, I don't know the reality of what happened here, but this person was extremely unhappy and just kept demanding for their money back. And when they weren't getting it back, they decided to uh, up the levels to make sure that uh, they're probably not going to get their money back by just taking something random on the desk there and just throw it off to the side. And of course, they do it again a little later, which is just a question. Like, if you really want your money back, why are you destroying property of this retail of this fast food restaurant. What's the point in doing that? It only makes it that you're probably gonna have to pay something in the future, especially if they decide to press charges or you get caught up by the law for this type of thing. I don't know. And also, what's with the charges thing? Just repeating the same thing over and over and over again, expecting to get different results. In this next clip, we've got an idiot slash Kevin deciding to record someone randomly in public. And yeah, this is an interesting one. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What happened? You How come you? Record me without my permission. Hey, that's all right. This is a public, uh, private. Uh, this, this is a free country. country. Absolutely. I Look. can call the cops on you right now. Call the cops. Me without my permission. That's okay. This you're is a free country. You're violating. Have you heard freedom. of the Second Amendment, the freedom of right of, of speech, and then and, 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 and you're violating my privacy. I'm not. So I'm not violating. This is. You're in a private area. 
Uh, I just want to question, does he actually know why it's perfectly fine to record a person at a public pace? It's not because of the First Amendment or this or that or these random other things he kept trying to pull up here. No, no, no. It's because you're in a public place. Therefore, what you're doing in said public place, it's not in private, it's in public. They're not invading your privacy by recording you. But he's been such a flipping asshole about it, it's not even funny. Like, what was even the point of that? It, was he just trying to taunt for a goddamn reaction? <laughs> Actually, this is TikTok. Yes, he probably was. In this next clip, we seem to have a mother who is confronting a bunch of kids who are apparently harassing people inside of a supermarket outside of that supermarket, causing a pretty big kerfuffle. Grown lady arguing with 13 year olds. Are you fucking sure? It's sad you gotta back him off. A fucking girl. Oh my god. A fucking female. You guys are a bunch of bitches. Record me. I don't give a shit. Thanks for the content. Hey, thanks for the content. Fucking record me. Record me because that's what you guys do. No, you guys come into the store, you cause problems, and then you want to record me. In your teeth. That's the fucking problem. Why are you guys hanging out here? They have to tell you guys to fucking leave. You have to go. Why are you causing shit? Why are you fucking stupid? We were buying fucking shit. You were so How? How did we get it? How? How my hood? Tell me, what the fuck tell is me that. that? No, no, tell me that. Yes, I'm oh, sure. Oh, look, she's smart. Bro, you're fucking assuming Jamie. Who the fuck are you? Because no I'm coming off. up to you and I'm no telling you, you guys are out of yeah, fucking line. You guys shouldn't come to the fucking grocery right. store and harass right. fucking people. Right. No, 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 honestly, no, you guys are out of fucking running. Harassing It's funny that now you got something to say. Now that you're with your girls. Is it funny? Is it funny? Is it funny? Is it funny? Why? 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 Why are you doing that? That's a Why are you guys? Why are you guys in the store that. causing problems? No one is. We no, you guys are. Why aren't you limping now? You sure were limping your way out the store? Can you not take a joke? Do you really have to? No, it's not funny it? because you're taking shit no away from people no who need it. Talking to you. It's ridiculous. This would not be happening if you would just leave. Record me. Okay. 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 Bro, leave. Goodbye. I honestly don't give a fuck. Bro. Like this fucking we're recording kids. shit put me on TikTok. Yeah, your kids, exactly. Yeah, Where are your you're saying you can beat us up. Where are your parents? Okay. Where's Where are your parents? 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 Why are you asking fucking questions? Bro, don't because you. you're in the store harassing everybody. And you're you guys are in the store. Goodbye. No, do not Bitch, I'm telling you, I know okay. my motherfucking manners. Okay. I'm telling you, I know my manners. <laughs> and I'm telling you, don't come in here trashing the store out. No, Who are you? Who are you? Goodbye. Don't come in here trashing the store out. You guys do it all the time. Yeah, you are. Go smoke your dope somewhere else. Ah, uh, lame ass. Bye. Bye. Really, get the fuck off the property. You're the one who's You know, look at this situation, just see everyone loses here. Clearly the kids were doing something they probably shouldn't have been, because I, I wouldn't expect someone who is a mother of a bunch of other kids, from what we can gather from what's happening in this clip, she apparently has kids of her own, she probably feels like that these kids are doing some stupid shit and should be told to just be better. But at the same time, I don't see why you're wasting your time getting involved in an argument such as this one either. I get it. These kids are probably being complete and utter assholes because that's just what a lot of teenagers do nowadays. But at the same time, you don't win in this situation because they're just going to record you going off at them, take it, post it online, get a few viral hits, and then move on with their day and keep doing the same thing that they were doing before. Maybe she was just hoping they would see reason at the end of the day. Ultimately, I don't think they did considering they posted this online with the original text being like, Oh, a bunch of a grown adult arguing with a bunch Bunch of 13 year olds so yeah here we are in this next clip we've got a kevin who is extremely upset with the state of fast food restaurants in this day and age and we'll go really upset about it <laughs> no there's not 
You know, this entire clip was just interesting to watch through because, okay, we can't see the state of the actual restaurant or the past that he's referencing to in this video clip here. It could possibly be not the greatest looking thing and it could be slightly messy. As well as the manager slash owner, whoever she is in this establishment, is complaining about having understaff issues. Now, that's a mixture between people like this, just assholes and people don't want to go into retail to deal with these type of people. And then secondly, because, well, these type of jobs don't pay anywhere near well enough for the amount of shit that you have to deal with inside of them. But that's another problem for its own thing. But just, I just can't get over how this guy goes on, complains for so goddamn long, gets absolutely nothing out of it, leaves, and then comes back just to complain even more for seemingly no good reason. He just does it because he's a bit of an asshole like that. I don't know. I, I, I really don't get this situation that much. It's just this guy's a bit of an idiot for just going on so long. Just move on with your day. It's not worth the hassle half the time. In this next clip, we've a customer who door dashed some Applebee's to their house. It turns out it wasn't quite what they were expecting or not cooked quite correctly, got a refund from DoorDash, and then decided to also go off at Applebee's for this. While we're at it, all we're asking I can is to fix our food and I can to have money. Back. This one I can't redo. There's nothing wrong with it. There's I can't give you no money back. DoorDash has already credited you that. You gotta go through there's this. There's nothing wrong with the food that you cook. Um, this case, of bake, something, this case of bake, I've already told you three times, this case of bake here, I will remake. So Please. you're not going to remake the other food. But if we were done... No, I need the ticket for if it. If we were done it... That's not our fault you don't have the ticket? The ticket was stapled when it was stuck to the bag. I know it was. It's always hard. So you policy. you just said you didn't see this go out. So, But now all of a sudden, you know that there wasn't a ticket there. That's what you're saying? Because I'm looking at the bag and I'm seeing there's not a ticket on here. So you guys don't get the tickets pulled up when we order through y'all? Yes, and they go straight to the side of the bag. That's how we know straight which the car they go on. Okay, so you know for a fact there was a ticket I on this I don't know for a fact. I don't know for a fact. But you just said you know for a fact. Because that's how our policies are. If we were done it, that's not our fault you don't have the ticket. The ticket was stapled when it was stuck to the bag. I know it was. It's always hard. So you you just said you didn't see this go out. So but now all of a sudden you know that there wasn't a ticket there. That's what you're saying? Because I'm looking at the bag and I'm seeing there's not a ticket on here. 
So you guys don't get the tickets pulled up when we order through y'all? Yes, and they go straight to the side of the bag. That's how we know the car the they go on. Okay, so you know for a fact there was a ticket I on this I don't know for a fact. Out. I don't know but for a fact. But you just said you know for a fact. Because that's how our policies are. But I don't know for a fact if your bag had one on there, but I can probably guarantee that it did. You can probably guarantee, but you can't guarantee. All right. I don't See, know. that's the problem. Can you step outside, please? But that's can the you problem. step outside? I can remake this case a day for you. It's for you two. It's not mine. Okay, well, is it yours? Yeah, that's Then mine. I can remake this case a day for you, but until it's remade, you're going to have to stand outside my parking lot. That's fine. I got it. Finally, in this case, if you've already got your refund from DoorDash, I wouldn't really bother going to the extra length to annoy the absolute hell out of the retail workers over at these Applebee's, just because, uh, I don't know, the food wasn't exactly what you expected or wasn't cooked right, right? If that happens, maybe just report it to health guidelines or something. I don't know how it works over in the US. Leave a bad review online. People seem to actually care a lot about those as well. And ultimately, I don't think you win this one. You're saying, oh, you're arguing for Karen at Applebee's. My friend is not the Karen, it's a worker at Applebee's who's the Karen. In re reality, eh, she's kind of right. You've gotten a refund from DoorDash already. What's the point of doing this entire string here, aside from just being a bit of an annoyance? In this next clip here, we've got someone who's recording a hungry person who's outside the door and just banging on the door, saying they're hungry. Now firstly, I don't get the entirety of the situation of what's actually happening here, but let's say that's a homeless person out there. Why are you being an asshole just sitting there slightly outside of your door recording them smashing on the door trying to get some food? Like why not just go inside and ignore it and not worry about it? You're literally just being a complete and utter ass by sitting there recording them, they can see you that you're there and you're just being a dick about it. Good God. Here we got a Karen who decided to uh, go to a comedy show and unfortunately one of the co comedians said something that she found slightly offensive. So she took it upon herself to go onto the stage and confront the guy for the offensive joke. Here's what happens. Ma'am, it's a goddamn comedy show. What the f is? You got an injustice. What's the problem? What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? Come on. <laughs> I don't want to know what the f you had to ask you. Goddamn compelling as fuck. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? We know you're a woman. We can tell. Good. How? How am I insulting people by talking about sexual matters between adults? I'm talking about consenting adult shit. I have sex. I have sex with women. So me being up here describing my life is insulting to you? Then how you how can you speak for the whole crowd and tell me that I'm insulting them? Who is anybody insulting? No. Sounds like a resounding yes over here. A resounding agreement. Storm the Capitol or storm my goddamn 
that didn't play out how you thought it was going to, did it, Karen? You thought everyone was going to be all on your side for confronting this comedian for his offensive jokes when, no, that's not what happened here. No one particularly cares. Everyone who goes to, like, if you go into a comedy show, you should expect that some jokes you may or may not be somewhat offensive towards you because that's what comedians do. They're going to make jokes that are going to be slightly offensive. Even if it's just self-deprecating jokes against themselves, it might, someone might find that slightly offensive. And the big thing with that, you just got to learn how to just sit there and enjoy the show. G getting all up worked up and offended over a joke to the point where you go up onto the stage and attempt to confront the comedian literally only serves a single purpose. To make yourself look like an absolute fool when everyone else, including the entire audience, start laughing at you because of your stupidity. Good job. That was probably far more embarrassing than what it could what it should have been and that's absolutely hilarious. Here we watch the patience of someone slowly disintegrate into a Karen as they watch an old lady who has no idea how to use an automatic car wash. So the old lady don't know how to use the wash. Well, so now I'm sitting here. Yo, I've been sitting here for like 25 minutes, yo. <laughs> Granted, it's been like t apparently 25 minutes according to the person recording, so I can understand the sheer amount of anger at this one person who doesn't seem to be able to get into the right position, but is they usually like, uh, okay, this probably won't be a thing in America, but actually no, that's not even much of a thing here. In some car washes where there's an automatic and a manual car wash, there's usually a guy floating around cleaning up the bays and all that who would be able to help in this type of situation, but then I'm not experienced with the car wash, the auto car washes that are right next to a fuel station and stuff along those lines. I don't know if there's an additional person who works those car washes that are floating around to help people when things like this occur. Also, why has it taken this old lady so damn long to just figure out how to sit in the perfect position? It's not that hard, it's not that complicated. Here we have a comedy show event being held in a neighborhood by the what I can gather from what was said in the clip. Uh, that might not be 100% correct either. Anyway, a Karen neighbor was not happy about the noise being created by this event, so she decides to take it upon herself to go out there and uh, knock the mic around, do some various other messy things over it. Hey, she's a comic in school. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, Yes, because stealing a microphone is going to work so well in your favor when there's a huge audience watching you do that exact same thing. It's almost like there's a very high chance that someone's recording in the crowd. Oh wait, someone did. Ah, well, that's a bit of a shame. Good thing uh, you didn't manage to get away with running away with the microphone because that probably would have been a bit of a issue for you depending on the microphone itself. And it looks like to be a wireless one, which those things tend to be two, three, four hundred dollars, you know, it only costs a bit of money and could potentially get you in a bit of trouble for stealing it, you know, don't worry about it, it's totally not going to be, not going to be a massive issue that was so not worth the time that you wasted de dealing with this. Here we have a Karen going off at a bunch of fast food workers and one of the other customers wasn't happy with the Karen doing so, so he goes off at the Karen, here's what happens. Shut me up, why don't you shut me up? I'm so tired of, of, of ignorant people like you coming in here talking bad about the workers. That's why you can't get workers. 
who wants to sit here and, and listen to some come in here and, and talk to him? Let that man work. That man ain't causing you no problems. He's doing the best he can. It doesn't matter what I like. I can tell you don't like it. Well, too bad. Go someplace else. Go to Burger King. Have it your way. Well, have it your way at Burger King. Would you shut the f up? I just said that. I said shut the f up. Man. I don't care who you call. I could care less. Excuse me. Can you call the police? You call them. Yes, you can. You call them. You see their business. Well, then get the man at the back of the corner. Can I call them that corner for now? Okay. I love how the Karen's first reaction to this is like, oh, can someone call the cops on him? Or like, he's, he's, he's annoying me. Can someone call the cops on him? All the workers are just looking at her going like, um, nah, I think we're good. I think you're causing more problems here. And the actual guy itself is like, why don't you call the cops? You've got a phone. Why don't you do it yourself? It, it, which is a question, yeah. Why don't you do it yourself? If you really want to call the cops, why don't you get out your phone and call them yourselves? Oh, probably because you know how stupid this is going to sound and then you know that when they do eventually come they're going to look at the situation and then question you about what the hell were you thinking calling the cops on something so petty and stupid so yeah you understand what you're doing here you know exactly what you're doing and that's why you won't do it yourself here we have a caring annoying person in their car for their car being too noisy i don't drive this car every day Okay, there's, there's a lot of other house modified house cars in this community. There's other per, another man I pay for this parking spot, I so know. I don't know what the problem what is. I thought, but I, I'm complaining because this noise of this car drives me nuts. Okay, it's a V8. It's not modified. What's that? It's street legal. I don't know what that means, but I just can't stand this noise of this car. There's nothing illegal on this car. The muffler? Whatever it is. There's still a muffler on this car. Well, why does it make so much noise? Because it's a V8 with almost 500 horsepower. Well, I don't know if they even have this car in this parking lot. It drives me nuts. And I'm going to complain about this so you don't. Great. Welcome to the world, Karen. Some cars are quiet. Some cars are very noisy. I mean... I can only imagine what the Karen would be like living in the neighborhood that I do because, you know, around, there's a lot of cars with some pretty interesting engines around here. You've got a few modifieds, you've got some Nissan Zs, you've got some Holden Commodores, the classic Australian vehicle with V6s and V8s and so on and so forth. And they tend to drive around, they're very noisy. Some of them are more noisy than others. And some people just like to accelerate and rev like an idiot because that's just what they like doing in their car for some dumb explained reason and there's always a lot of car noise happening around here it's quiet a lot of the time but then there's also car noise that's just how it goes when you live in a neighborhood where people have cars some cars are noisy some people want to have a car that's fun but also ends up being noisy because it's fun it's just how it is here we have a Karen that rather than take an actual car park which is very empty a little bit further ahead of her, she decides to double park behind another person's vehicle in order to get out and start walking her dog. And then when she gets confronted by the person who owns that vehicle who's attempting to leave, uh, this happens. Please get- I already told you why. There's not a- there's a spot right there you could park in. What's, what's and do you live here? Who the f are you- I live to? here! What I need, need to get in my car and get to a job okay, and you're you don't have to treat me like this. You, I didn't do anything to you. So you what? did too. You parked her in. Oh, and I'm really hurting her. Yes, I need yeah, to get to my I have responsibilities like I need to get to. Else, this is my parking yeah. spot. No, it's not. The le I signed a lease here. They said you can park right there. No, they didn't. Were they you didn't there? Were you there? there when she signed the lease? Why are you yelling at me too? Who the fuck are you? Somebody she uh, asked to help her. Good. And you don't live here. What do you think? You think I'm gonna please hit you? get is in that your why car? Because you're, you're being psycho. I would like you to get in your psycho. car and move. I'm being psycho. Please being get rude. in your car and move. I'll wait for the police to come. For what? Because you're being rude to me the whole time since you knocked on that door. You've been being rude. Why would I be so nice to you when you're blocking me in you when I have, say, hey, I have to go somewhere? 
I don't you know shouldn't do this in the first place. This is my spot. I live here. And you do not live here. Yes, good idea, Karen. Wait for the police to come so they can come see the fact that you double parked somewhere and get a copper fine for doing so. Oh, what a good, what a, what a good Samaritan this Karen is. Just put, turning herself in, allowing herself to get an easy fine. Oh, wait, she doesn't realize that? Oh. <laughs> of course not. Karens don't think about the law. They don't actually know anything about the law until it actually favors them. When it doesn't favor them, they're going to pretend like they didn't know anything, which is hilarious to say the least. <laughs> Here we got a loopy Karen who causes a bit of a scuffle with another customer and then calls over a fake imaginary worker and starts complaining to them even though there's no one there. You. Why can't I be out here? Why can't I be in Vacaville? Why can't I be out here? Excuse me. Hey, yeah. Hey, I am minding my own business. You bumped into my child. This person called me a f No, I did. Are you serious? Yeah, here I am minding my own business and this person, she bumped into me and she called me Why a lying. Why would I say that in front she of my daughter? What's wrong with you? Who are you even talking to? You're not talking to anybody. What is wrong with you? Her. There it is. It's her. What is wrong with you? Are you kidding me right now? It's her. She she what? called me a You are you're you're not talking to anyone. There's no Excuse one listening me. to you. Excuse me. Look, look. She's harassing me. I'm not harassing. You said I shouldn't be here she's in back of it. Why did you say that? See? She's harassing me. I am not harassing she you. She called me a She's lying. See? She is lying. She told me I should not be in Vacaville. She told me I should not Look, be here. She bumped into my daughter. I said, I hear minding my own business. You are not and minding she your business. taking photos of me. Why? Are you? I'm recording you because you told me I should not be here. She started taking photos of me. Why are you lying, I'm lady? I'm here minding my own business. I'm from UC Davis. And she bumped into me and started taking photos of me. Are you kidding See? me? See? Are you? See? Why are you lying? I think she may need some help. Don't know about you, but it seems a little bit uh, off that she's trying to complain to a worker that doesn't even exist. And I wouldn't be too surprised there may or may not have been another worker there before. Uh, at the end of this clip, with the other com the round of complaints, it's yeah, very interesting to say the least. Just like, hello, excuse me, come over here, and then just start talking to a person, and then you like, wait, hold on, right? they don't exist. What are you going on about? Like, what? <laughs> Some people are just a little out of it. Here we have an off-duty police officer who is attempting to use his authority to uh, intimidate a construction worker. I'm respectfully asking uh, Milestone for a supervisor. And they're refusing to give me one. I want your supervisor. Yeah, I am a sergeant. I, I want somebody over you. I want, I want that. I want a phone number. Right now. You're the one breathing all heavy for a Dude. fighter. Because he, he's starting an issue with people out in the street. He is not starting an issue. You that weren't, sir, you weren't. That guy has never caused an issue since he's been here. First thing he, he did was, you got him First thing he right did now. was apologize to me. First thing he did. And why are okay? you saying he has an attitude? You do. You're the one with the attitude right now. I don't have to leave. Uh, well, then we'll out the street. And babysit you. You're not babysitting me. So I've been doing this here? longer than what you can imagine. I came over to have a conversation with him. And we fixed it. Now you're over here causing more of a problem. Well, he had an attitude. I said you had an attitude. You are totally. I need a supervisor from you. Yeah, I get one I get one you choose your battles wisely, you fellas. Already, you've already lied to me. You said you was pulling out of there. No, I didn't. I said I was right here in the turn lane. You told me you was right there. You lying sack of shit. I said now I was you're right here and me? I turn it. Now you're cussing at me. I'm sitting right. And he knows that. He was sitting right here. He just told me. You know what? You're a nobody. Quit, pull, you get quit out of the street. Your, quit pointing your finger. Get out of the street. Come here. Come here. Get his tag number. 22474. I don't really care. We're getting it. I just told you. 22474. What's your badge number? Five. Five? Car five. What county? What township? Morgan. Morgan? Yep. Police station. Don't worry about it. You got my no, tag. You think no, you know everything. Police station. You think you know everything. <laughs> now, now you're trying to push me. You touch me and you're going to jail. <laughs> You see, you, you see just, what well, right? I you see, see this, right? I got it on camera, right, what he just man. did. Just like your husband says, danger, stupid kills. You know, this is going on YouTube, right? Get out of the street. 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 
That's unbelievable. I just imagine that South Park meme clip of respect my authority just when it comes down to this entire clip because it just seems like a stupid interaction to say the least. Like, what is the, the police officer even complaining about in this situation? Oh, what, that he can't go from the far, far lane into the to turn into that place for s something when there's construction going on? Like... I'm genuinely confused and what's the problem here and why the police officer is having a bad time of it all and is trying to express his authority on top of these people. And then of course when he flicks his arm around and the construction worker he's talking to slightly touches him, he's like, oh now you've touched me, now you're going to jail. It's just like, what in the world, you're on such a power trip, it's not even funny. Here we have a character who's extremely upset at the person who's serving them in a gas station so happens to be Indian. And so she starts throwing things around. In this country, b I I have right. What right? Okay. What I have right? right. You have? I can slap. stay. I can no, stay. Can. I have right. I will find a reason to get you put out. Okay. I Watch have... me. I have plenty of white friends. It's not your country. You... What country is it? Whose country is it? It's my Whose country is it? It's my right. It's my country. It's my right. You I don't belong stay. here. I have right. You don't have any right. Okay. I have no right. Okay. Sure. Don't. Stupid bad. Okay. I'm not playing with you. I'm not okay. playing with you. I am not. Put it in again. Put it in again. Put it in again. Don't do that. I, okay. Okay. Do this. Do Sick this. Wow, that's uh. <laughs> That is definitely an interesting spicy clip to say the least, just to see the uh, uh, entitledness from that person, just on how much they're being oppressive against the Indian there, which is interesting to say the least considering what happened to black people for the longest time. You'd think they would all be a lot more considerate of other minority races, but in this situation, seemingly not. But also, uh, I, I probably wouldn't have been trying to throw around the uh, gas handle like that if I were you, because not only could you get in trouble for destruction of property there, you're also running a high risk that you're throwing around a thing that, if breaks, could leak flammable liquid everywhere and cause a lot of problems that could potentially even kill someone in the current gas station because there's multiple other people around. So, uh... I, I, I think you're probably getting a lot of trouble for throwing those things around. I ain't gonna lie, buddy. Maybe you should think things a little more thoroughly than what you've done in this situation here. This first clip, we've got a truck driver who's at the office waiting to get his load unloaded. And then we have another employee from this office coming out to harass the truck driver. For what reason, we don't know. Here's a clip. What kind of stuff is this? I called the whole me, day. I've been calling the whole day. Sure. Sure. What door are you at? On 72. Thank you. I'll bring it back. Excuse me, sir. Off my property. You touching me? Stop touching me. Out of my Stop door touching now. me. Stop touching I me. Need you are. You touching me? See how you touching me? Leave my paper alone. Hey, 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 you touching my, my stuff? Office. You see? You see this? Stop touching my stuff. Stop touching my stuff. I'm not holding. Leave my key alone. Leave my key alone. Get out. You leave my key. Thank you. Get out. Stand over there. You are not professional. I'm, I'm over here. Leave my premises now. Now you are over here. I'm standing over here. You will not be unloaded here. Thank you. You see? I am not going to have him disrupting my whole work here. Period. I am. I yes. I am very professional. I have never in my life done this. Come back to my window and handle your business, please. You just you just touch me. You just touch me. I need to report. I need to Let's report. Leave. No, I need to report for that. I need a report. I need a report. I need look what you did to my paper. I don't care about the paper. I need a report, please. You will not be unloaded. I need please. a I need a police report. Matter of fact, let me call the police because you just
I think this goes without saying, but no matter how unprofessional someone's acting in a workplace, it doesn't give you a reason to put your hands on them in any way, shape or form. Unless they do so first, then you're defending yourself, but by claiming they're being unprofessional and then trying to pull them out by grabbing them and pulling them along, you're just therefore being unprofessional yourself and you don't really win in that situation. Furthermore than that, it also gives them the ability to, well, charge you with assault if they really want to, considering they're recording it. It'd be very flipping petty, but it doesn't stop people from doing other things that are very petty. In this next clip, we got a Karen who's pretty unhappy with the fact that the neighbors got some blow-up toys touching the, their side of the fence and decided to get mad and use a poking stick to poke holes into the inflatables. Okay. I'll move it. I'll move it. How do you like that? There, now call the cops. Keep it off of my property. I have the I'm right sorry. to move it. Get it off! Wasn't touching nothing. You liar, I got photos of it. I got photos from up there. I got photos from right here where it's touching it. What is this logic here? So if it's touching the fence on your side, that means it's now in the other person's yard and that's not what you're allowed to do. I, I just don't get anything here. From what we can see in the video, the f inflatables are on the other side of the fence. They're not on Karen's side of the fence. It's just touching the fence and she has to have a need to get a poking stick that seems to have something sharp on the other end to poke at the inflatables and make sure to make holes. I mean, yeah, you can call the police just based upon property damage there. Like, good God. In this next clip, we've got an old man that is seemingly grumpy that there's a concrete shop out the front of his house pouring concrete into what I assume what was a pothole before. Get off me lawn, you youngins! I, I don't get it. <laughs> The truck's not on the lawn, it's just on the side of the road and clearly they're trying to fix the road of whatever damage is there. And this guy comes in with a hammer, starts banging along the truck. Like, first off, why are you doing that? That can get you in far more crap than just being upset at things. And then you can just go and stomp in through the concrete. Bro, what is your problem here? In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's apparently acting like a nuisance inside the store and now is being asked to leave but absolutely refuses to do so. Look behind you, get trust me. I have signs up all over the building. I have the recite to service to anyone. I'll wait and tell him. You're the one's the problem, not me. No, He's the one you're crazy. My face. I know what spit on you. Just report it. I'm going to move you out. I have the option to move you. I want you out to the officer. I can physically move you if I want you out of the building. I'm going to give you one more opportunity. You guys hear me? This is crazy. I'm not shoving you. I'm just going to move you out of the building. You're touching my merchandise. Stop shoving me! Get out of the building! Stop shoving me! Stop shoving me! <laughs> Stop shoving me! Wait right here. Okay. Not shoving me. Give me wait my right here. That's all I'm asking you to do is wait right here. Okay. That's it. You're not coming I'm gonna in call not... them and tell them you picked me up and you took me out. I did. Yes. I asked them. And I'm gonna tell them that. I asked the officer already. Good. No, you cannot touch me. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You <laughs> can't. It's assault. No, you cannot go inside there. It's assault. You're not coming inside. Here he is, right here. Here's the officer. Good. Hey, Spencer. Go ahead. Hey, Spencer. Yeah, His I friend got over here spit in my face. I never spit it. in your face. Said, I have his This photo. lady came in and just started going crazy no, on this guy. He came me in the gym, started cussing at all of it. No, all the receptionists. I did not. That's wrong. We asked her to move. She would not I leave. I did not cuss. I called you. I did not all cuss. All I did was pick her up by her body and I moved her outside. I he assaulted her. me. I did not assault her. He pushed me. Do you have someone coming down here, dude? Sure. Yeah, I've got a guy coming in here. Thank Good. You. All right. Hey, John, could you come down here, too? Yes. 
I absolutely love how you can le hear the laughter of the police guy in the background off of the phone just by the entire situation. He's just like, <laughs> just off of the phone. It's hilarious. I don't know. I don't get why people act like children like this sometimes. It really it never makes any sense to me. I understand some people are just so entitled to get what they want that when they're told no, they just act childish until they get what they want. But it just, it just drives me insane how we have people like this in this day and age. In this next clip, we've got a Karen who's an Uber passenger and has an absolute need to complain about any think that occurs in that entire drive. Can you uh, do me a favor? Can you move the seat forward because it's it's hitting my knees at this point. Yeah, 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 no problem. Hold on. It's very uncomfortable. Is that better? Sorry about that. Well, there's no point in saying sorry. It was already, you know, it was already pushing on my knees, but that's what most of you Uber drivers do anyway. I'm not trying to come off rude, but I, can you hold on? I didn't even put my seatbelt on. This, this right here is loose. This this almost poked me. Alright. Are you familiar with this area, sir? Yes, I am. It's too hot in here. Can can I lower this window or something? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You like it really hot in here, man. It's like I'm in a, the Amazon. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You're not hot? You know, your seatbelt is really tight around my neck, man. It, it, it really is tight. Has anybody uh, else complained about this? No, no, ma'am. No, they have not. Huh? Well, well, then take it off. No, I'm not going to take it off. You showed up late. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make you as comfortable as possible here. Well, you're doing a bad job at it. Let me. Tell Are you giving me an attitude, sir? No, ma'am, I'm not. All I have to do is report you to Uber, and so be it. You will be kicked off of this this app. Okay? This freaking seat is leaning on my knee. You have to have consideration for passengers when they get in your car. I want another Uber driver. Cause all you're doing is running that lip of yours, and don't nobody want to hear what you got to say. Over there in the parking spot. I'm not gonna get out in the middle here. Right. God. I think this Karen completely forgets that uh, one bad rating on an Uber driver isn't going to get them immediately kicked off of that, as well as Uber drivers have the ability to rate their passengers, so I have a funny feeling that it's more likely she's going to get kicked off if she continues to act like this in front of other Uber drivers. I get the seat probably should have been moved mostly forward initially, but it's something that may happen, depending on if people were in the passenger seat beforehand. But the complaint about the seatbelt, you have the ability to slightly adjust it, it's meant to be tight for Christ's sakes, like good God. In the next clip, we probably have the case of why old people should still be driving cars, and if they are, they should be retested quite often. It was We're the one was it the, the cops here oh, fast. It was, she said just go over to your car. It was probably the dog driving. Shut up, you asshole. <laughs> Shut up, you asshole. Did you scare <laughs> what you're laughing, aren't you? All right. I'm so lucky. You hit them. Yeah, say hi. 911, please. 911. All right, guys, yeah, listen, if they need, you I basically leave. pulled no, up and no, said, you don't. <laughs> I'm truly curious on what actually happened in this situation on like how this crash occurred because my god that car looks like it was completely squished like wow 